I did a video on the Maestro Elite Transport. You know, that's these Elite Transports. This is an older pack. A couple of you guys noticed, uh, including Cedar up there in uh, British Columbia, noticed that even though the flatbed would uh, haul a truck, why does it need a uh, tow hitch in the back there? If it's a flatbed truck, that's, that's a pretty good question. In the past, uh, I showed you this pack. See, they got the uh, Chevy Avalanche. Well, actually, it's the uh, Cadillac Escalade, just a pretty Avalanche. They have this little uh, trailer. Got a nice Camaro on this one. This is just a plain silver trailer. Uh, let's see, they also had it in uh, black. Here's one with a nice Carmen Ghia. It's uh, black with a silver, silver like a metallic grating there. Here's one with a nice uh, Monte Carlo. They made it orange just like the rest of the uh, presentation, the vehicles. And then the one that was hardest to find for me was this one here. This uh, purple caddy. Oh yeah, this, this guy was hard to find, let me tell you. I had to wait a few years before I found it on eBay. But uh, that one's black. So you see that one it uses the uh, hitch right there. Now they did have a couple trucks. I don't remember what the trucks were they used. I only paid attention to Avalanche because that's what I drive. So the Avalanche, I'm pretty sure this one came with this trailer and this VW Bug. Custom Bug here. And there you go. You would hook it right there and there's your, uh, there's your trailer. The only thing is with the uh, this bug from uh, Maisto and this Escalade EXT, not exactly in scale if you know what I mean. Uh, the bug would only be like about this big in real life. But anyways, here's how it worked. You'd sit it right there. The only problem, let me show you this recent uh, Matchbox wannabe avalanche and uh, Ridgeline and Camper. You see this one here? Um, see where the wheels are in the back? Really far to the back of the trailer. But if you look here on the Maester one, it's in the middle. Which means the car is basically teeter-tottering in the middle here. Really, these should be back here so that the weight is pressed here. And this is not prone to flipping over. As you see here, I, I do this one. No problem. This one here, look, it's having a hard time staying on the hole there because uh, the bug is, keeps wanting to go to the back, so it doesn't stay on. It doesn't stay on very well. So to answer your question, yeah, they have had some releases with a trailer, but as you can tell, so uh, it would fit here. It does snap on, but once again, we still have that problem. Now this one is actually pretty good. This one, if you look underneath, it has a little cavity here. It has a lip underneath the metal. So this actually kind of snaps underneath the white part of the metal. Like that. See, this one's pretty good attachment here. So uh, with this one, excellent. The only thing is, is I don't know why they do that, because they never be able, they never be able to get one in the package. Look, it have to be a really big package. Anyways, thanks for being observant there, Cedar, and everybody else. I appreciate your participation. It helps me make better videos. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.